Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x minus 2, 4 raised to the power 6, minus 5 raised to the power 6, equals to 0 here. Then we can write this as x minus 2, or raised to the power 3, then or raised to the power 2. Minus also 5 raised to the power 3 or raised to the power 2 equals to 0 here. Then this follows on we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open brackets a plus b. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 2 or raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets also open bracket x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two positive cases the first one x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Then here, yeah, this follows on we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets a squared minus ab plus b squared. Then here, yeah, what we have becomes x minus 2 plus 5 into brackets, the open brackets, x minus 2 all square minus 5 times x minus 2 plus 5 square close brackets equals to 0 here. That is, this becomes x plus 3 into brackets, then open bracket. Expansion here gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4. Minus 5 open this bracket. We have minus 5x plus 10. Then plus 5 squared. That's 25. Close bracket. Equals to 0 here. At this here, we have x plus 3. Into brackets. Open brackets. Here we have x squared. Minus 4x minus 5x. We have minus 9x. Then 10 plus 25, that's 35 plus 4, that gives us 39, plus bracket equals to 0 here. At this here, we have two possible cases. First one, x plus 3 equals to 0, or we have x squared minus 9x plus 39 equals to 0 here. Then, Solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 9, and c equals to 39. They apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 9 plus or minus square root of minus 9 squared minus 4 times 1 times 39 over 2 times 1. Then here we have x equals to Minus times minus here become plus. That's 9. Then plus or minus square root of minus 9 squared. That's 81. Then minus 4 times 1 times 39. It was 156 over 2. That is here. This becomes x equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 minus 156. You have minus 75 over so yeah then here yeah, can write this as x equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 
over 2. And when we separate this root 25, that's 5, we take it out and we have x equals to 9 plus or minus 5 root 3 and root minus 1 is i over 2 here. Then here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this follows on we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, do the same thing as a minus b into bracket, open bracket, a square plus ab plus b square. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x minus 2 minus 5 into bracket, then open bracket x minus 2 all square, then plus 5 times x minus 2 plus 5 square close bracket equals to 0 here. At this here, we have x minus 7 into bracket, then open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus 4x plus 4. Then plus 5, open this bracket, we have 5x minus 10. Then plus 5 squared, 25, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then here, yeah, this becomes x minus 7 into bracket, open bracket, x squared, minus 4x plus 5x, that gives us plus x. Then 25 minus 10, that's 15. Then plus 4, that gives us plus 19, close bracket, equals to zero here then here we have two possible cases x minus seven equals to zero or we have x squared plus x plus 19 equals to zero here and here we have x equals to seven which is a real solution here also we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to one b equals to one and c equals to 19. Then, applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 19 over 2 times 1. Which implies we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is still 1, then minus 4 times 1 times 19 gives us 76. Then over 2 here. This we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 76 as minus 75 over 2. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 75. You can write it as 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. And root 25 is 5, we take it out and we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 5. Then root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. Also here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, altogether here we have six solutions in this given problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.